When I was about 17, my best friend betrayed me through her boyfriend. That's when I lost all trust and sort of hid away into a little hole and that's when all that emotion started of like, you're not worthy, you're not, um, you're not respected, you're not loved. I used to hide away in my closet and I'm in this closet with the door shut and nobody's home. It's light, but I'm, all my lights are off. That was when I was trapped in, like, in myself um, with all of these emotions and these burdens of like fear and anxiety. And that was when I was my, at my most low, when I knew that I was actually lost and like I needed a hug, but nobody was around. To feel that love, I just, I searched for it in obviously other areas like um, drinking, drinking to lose my thoughts. I was trying to find something that was long term, but I didn't know what it was. Something within me just said when I was in Christchurch, you need to move cities, you need to move to Auckland. That was like the breakthrough because my auntie was like, oh, come to, um, come to youth camp. And I was like, oh, no, thanks. <laughs> it sounded a bit like average. <laughs> Um, and then I and I was like, okay, so I'll give it a go. Like, if if you're paying, I'll give it a go. <laughs> when I when I went there, everyone was like talking about like this God and all that sort of stuff. And I knew him, but I didn't know him like in my heart. And um, the pastor was saying, um, for those of you that want to give your heart to the Lord, come down the front. I couldn't stop my feet walking to the front. <laughs> like I just knew I just had to get up and walk and it wasn't me walking my feet were just doing their own thing and I got to the front and then I just started crying and I didn't know why but it was all this bottled up um, hurt and sadness and emotion that was like just coming out and it was such a genuine love and I felt God's mercy and God's grace when you experience God's love in the way that I have or it might be different for you um, you you open your heart to his genuine, like, undivided attention, and it's, it's so beautiful.